most nice boo guy expert. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 2 Fast and Furious. This time you got the flamethrower, as I call it, because look at that. Welcome to another top speed test with the challenger. Three, two, one. Now, on the channel, usually I film every single aspect of a heist, right, in GTA 5. Well, sorry, but that isn't going to happen. I did record a video. I intended to upload it. I attempted to upload it approximately seven times. Every single time it failed. So, you know what? Sorry, I'm not uploading it. It took forever. It takes ten minutes to upload this over... Or, sorry, it's ten minutes long. It takes over two hours to upload. Not doing it again. And this thing is going pretty fast. This is an actual Furious 7 car. I ow. <laughs> Not very fast, actually. You think the challenger would have improved? I mean, really. The last one did what? Two seventeen? The first, the nineteen seventies version. Come on, Dodge, make up your mind. Now, I must admit, it is a little bit more balanced. So, yeah, top speed around 170 for the Challenger. Not bad, not bad. It's in sports car territory, which I guess is pretty good for a muscle car. But, yeah. Um, so I will be d doing a, I am planning to do a World of Tanks video, but it's going to take a while to download that, so, yeah, it's going to take a while. Next up, we have the 2015 Charger, which is sadly not a Hellcat. Everyone was expecting it to be a Hellcat, but it's not. Three, two, one. The Hellcat will not... Have a second gear of 47 miles per hour. And would not go 100 miles an hour in fifth gear. So, Dodge has sort of been letting me down a little bit. I mean, the Charger, the 70s Charger, is nice because it has 900 horsepower. But all the other cars in the expansion from Dodge, uh, they sort of aren't the best. I mean, they're fast, but. They suck at accelerating. I mean, look. We just reached 180 at the end of the line. That's sort of sad. I mean, trust me, I picked this car over like a Prius or something. Fiesta or something like that. But truthfully, I do not like the car very much. I believe they should have stuck to their older roots and not have made a muscle sedan, as I call them. Because, see, Dodge likes to make muscle cars into sedans. Look at the Dart. The Dart used to be a, in my mind, a cool-looking muscle car. And then they turn it, they didn't even turn it into a muscle sedan like this. They turn it into a sedan. A fully-fledged sedan that got beat by a Focus. Not an ST, just a Focus. And it was the rally version, the civilian rally version of the, um, whatever it's called, the Dart. The reason they called it the Dart too is because they completely, completely redesigned the car. And I don't like their redesign. I also like, don't like the redesign of this car, but, you know, whatever sells, sells, I guess. <laughs> I guess Dodge only won one muscle car. Time for our final candidate. This is the last speed run on the franchise. Unless you guys say do more. And this is the McLaren P1. Three, two, one. Ooh, the back blast. Can I get it? Come on. No back blast, I guess. Well, I don't know why they added this car in the game in the first place. Because it's not in the Fast and the Furious 
And they had it already in the game. Also, we're going 220 miles an hour. So I don't know why they added it into the game in the first place. But, yeah, see, there's the back blast. Look at that. Yeah, I don't like their choice. I think they could have done better, like maybe the Lycon Hypersport. I think that would have been an amazing addition to this pack. I think that would have been, like, incredible. Because it is the second most expensive car in the world. But, why they decide to add it? I don't, why I decided not to add it, I don't know. Maybe there's a logical reason. But for now, I just think they were lazy and they're like, what car should we include in here? Because we don't want to do anything else. Alright, hey, let's add the McLaren P1 just because. <laughs> also, I am planning to do a um video with this car. But... You'll have to wait and see it, because that's it for this episode of the 4th Horizon 2 Fast and Furious Expansion. And I'll be back with more.